Imagine, if you will, a chilling night in Puni, a city buzzing with life but unsuspecting of the tragedy that would soon unfold. I'm here to tell you an incident that's gripped the nation, a tale of loss, deceit, and a desperate search for justice. It was a regular night for two young software engineers, their dreams as vast as the starlit sky above them. But in just one fleeting moment, their lives were snuffed out by a speeding Porsche, driven by a 17-year-old. The twist? He was heavily drunk, his judgment clouded more than the night sky. In the aftermath, the community expected justice to take its course. However, what followed was not just a trial of an individual, but an expose of a system seemingly manipulated. Two doctors and a peon at Sassoon Hospital were arrested, not for their medical expertise, but for their alleged role in a scandal that shocked everyone. You see, the blood samples which were supposed to convict a reckless teenager turned out to be not his. These samples were swapped, a deliberate act to distort the truth. Under the cover of authority, these medical professionals, guided by the head of the forensic department, allegedly replaced the teen's blood with someone else's. This revelation was not just a procedural error, it was a betrayal of every ethical oath, a slap in the face to the grieving families who only sought justice for their lost sons. The commissioner of Pune Police laid bare this deceit, leading to an outcry among the public and dredging up questions about how deep this manipulation ran. The case spiraled further, drawing in the teen's father and grandfather, highlighting a disturbing effort to shield him from the repercussions of his actions. This wasn't just an accident. It was, as the families of the victims say, akin to murder. Now, as the city reels from this betrayal, the nation watches closely. Justice is not just about retribution. It's about trust in our systems, in our society, in our guardians of law and ethics. And when that trust is shattered, the cracks can be felt far beyond the confines of a courtroom. As we reflect on this dark chapter, let us not forget the lives lost, nor the courage to demand accountability. For in the pursuit of justice, silence is not just quiet, it's complicity. Thank you for joining me in uncovering this grave injustice. Stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, never stop seeking the truth.